Chemicals are a big part of modern life across much of our planet. And many of them deliver big benefits, but others are a source of growing concern. Here's how a top physician at Stanford University put it. We looked at cord blood, blood collected from babies at the moment of birth, to see what they'd been exposed to even before they were born. And we found an average of 200 industrial chemicals coursing through their body even before they were born. And those are things from the environment, modern chemicals, that people had never had to deal with in the past. Dr. Green's concerns are echoed by a growing number of physicians who are focused on what they call environmental medicine. One of them is my friend, Dr. Saram Khalsa. He actually helped me when I was going through breast cancer. Yeah, he's a terrific guy. He's an internist, an American Sikh, an acupuncturist, homeopathist, and nutritional expert. And his focus on environmental medicine is one reason he's built a thriving practice in Beverly Hills. Actually, I heard Dr. Khalsa speak at a conference and he was talking about the cumulative effects of the environment and toxins and I went up to him afterwards and I begged him to please take me on as a patient. In environmental medicine we have the concept of total body burden. That concept is, is that over the course of our lifetimes we build up a continuous load of these environmental toxins as starting with childbirth and that we believe that we have like a bucket in our body that fills up with these toxins and that at some point in our lives this begins to overflow and when it overflows it goes in one of two directions cancer or inflammatory diseases which include rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, allergies, even coronary artery disease now has a high component of inflammation uh, linked with the development of coronary artery disease and so we feel that these chemicals, we, meaning doctors who practice like I, are contributors to the health care problems that we're having in our society today. Fortunately now there's a tremendous movement towards green consciousness and there's a new development of many products for the house that are green. And again, I encourage all my patients to look for those green products along with organic foods so that we minimally expose ourselves to chemicals in our environment.